Hello, hello, hello. Greetings, Lee Shelley Yans. Welcome back to another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Starring, why me, your ladybug, Lisa Michelle. Y'all, today, 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 your girl is going to do a copycat video of my little sissy poo, my little niecey poo, or whatever you want to call her. That's Nicole, of course, Nicole, of course, Nicole, of course, Nicole, of course. I saw my little sissy poo do this little video. video and I wanted to try it too. And I first saw Nate do it. Nate, when B-Loves, my girl B-Love came out with her smack delicious sauce, which I have piping hot right here, the spicy kind, you know. Uh-huh, you know, always. And I saw Nate do it initially with the McDonald's. Oh no, he had a, a chicken, either he had McDonald's or he had a Popeye's chicken something in the B-Loves smack delicious. Then I saw my girl Steph and Tasha do it. And then I saw Nicole, of course, with the whole everything, child. All types of sandwiches, child, filet of fish. I got, she had a Big Mac, which I don't have. My husband had it, but he didn't already ate it. And I got me some noodles, some, not noodles, some nuggets, and some french fries, and all of those jazz. So I'm going to be dipping my fries in him, my nuggets in him, my, what's this, that little, little quarter pounder in him, and my filet of fish in him. Yes, I am. So, y'all, let me pray over my food and my drink, and we're going to get to chowing down, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, all God, for the food and the drink in which you have placed before me. I pray that it would be nutritional to my body and not cause any hurt, harm, or danger to your daughter in any way. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I thank you for all of my Lichelians out of YouTube land and your kids and your children all across this land. In the holy and mighty name of Jesus Christ, I do pray. Amen, amen, amen. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah and amen. Again, again, again. Y'all, your girl hot. Child, I miss hot today. Why? I don't know. You know why? I do know why. Because it's hot here in H-Town, which is Houston, Texas, in case you didn't know. What shall we start with first? They say always start with your protein. That's what they, that what they say. And the diet people say, that what the diet doctor and stuff say, start with your protein. This is a chicken make. Look, I got the tea in right here. Right, 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 right here. Ooh, that's hot. Shoes. Shoes is. Ooh. Child. Look at the turn child. Y'all, y'all know I got two times spice in here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all know who that song is? Mm. Don't you fall. I wish I knew how to get those thumbnails like Nick Nick Avocado. Here we go. Mm. 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 Mm.
you had them perfect, them excellent thumbnails. Like, oh, I want some of that. Maybe one of these go down. Flap up here. One of these old daily Shelly in. Let me see. Oof. Hot job. Oof. So happy Tuesday, y'all. Cause the tartar sauce kind of gives like a it offsets the something. Mmm, mm. that's good. Mmm, -hmm. I don't know if she had uh, filet of fish, but I do, and I'm, I'm I'm quite sure I'm not the first person to eat my sixty pool sauce with filet of fish. I've never seen anybody do it, but I'm quite sure they have. Mmm. The toilet sauce. Mmm. With the sauce, it tastes good. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Yeah, I know. I'm not no bread eater. I get full of real family bread. Mm mm. What? Well, it's so good. Mm. So with this here, this time I make the sauce. I didn't make any um, make it with any um soda, nor did I add any ginger this time. So no sugar in here, just not at all. Which is how I like it. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm before today. I'm before this video. Whew. I'm full already. Y'all, y'all know me. This is Coca Cola. Mm. Whoo, I'm full of chai. I'm gonna take a bite of that, that quarter pound, dude. I'm Mia's, I'm Mia. My nose running child. It's spicy. Like I like. So y'all, guess what? Your girl and your boy, Cora Jean, we're going live today. Tonight, it's going to be 6 p.m. my time. Central Standard Time, 6 p.m. And I'm going to be on Sister Fifi Tyson's channel. My husband and I are going to be a guest on her live stream. So you guys, please check us out. You can go to either her live stream. I think her live stream, I think. Yeah, I ain't went live so long. I forgot all the do's and don'ts and all the ins and outs of it. But she is so sweet. She always try to help me. Very sweet. Very knowledgeable about live streams. It has no problem whatsoever. Helping out your girl. Whenever I call her, she's available every single solitary time. She is. And I'm very, very, very grateful. We can we can go without talking for a long time, months even. But if I call her in the nick of a dime, she'll answer and be right on time with it. You hear me? Ain't got no problem. Don't be having no attitude. Don't be saying, mm -hmm, what she want now. Nah, none of that. Mm -mm. Y'all know how we do, ladies. Y'all know how we do. She don't do none of that. 
I've never, never saw any of that in her demeanor, her attitude, nothing. I've never even got a glimpse of that. Never. Not in her tone, not in her response, not in her reaction, or the lack thereof. I've never got that. And I'm so grateful for her friendship, her sisterhood, and just grateful for her being a woman of God like me, a married woman, woman of God like I am, trying to get her hustle on, on this tube like I am. You know, so, hey, she's a great woman. I love her channel. She's had the gastric sleeve like I've had. So she can't eat like me that much. And she's part of the LBC too. The Little Betty Club as well. So check her out, Sister Fifi Tyson. She goes live pretty often. She has, she's an evangelist. She has Bible study on her live streams. She has um, biblical games. And, and I think tonight she said that my husband and I, we're doing a game too. So I don't know what type of game it is. But that's the fun of it. It's going to be a surprise. We're going to be blindfolded, y'all. She told me to have my blind, make sure we have our blindfolds and our little paper. And I, I was honored, and I am honored to oblige. So y'all come on over there and check me and Carl Jean out tonight on this Tuesday. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Uh, Sister Fifi Tyson. And today, oh, July, July 14th. And on her channel, and it's going to be um, Central Standard Time, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And she is Eastern, I think. So she's 7 p.m., y'all. Mm. Yeah. I think, I think she is. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had court today, y'all. And um, I was telling my little co-worker that I had, I had court today. I said, well, I'm about to leave it in a minute, let's see. So I'm going to be gone because she just got there. And I'm going to say, I'm going to be gone in a minute, boo, boo. So just let her know. You know, I had to go to court or whatever. I ain't have to let her know, but I would just be, you know, because she just got there. And she and I was the only females there. And that's why I was leaving in a few minutes, about 20 minutes. And so, I was telling her I had court. And she was saying, they don't have court right now. My boyfriend, he had, he put the court and he didn't have court. I said, mm-hmm. I said, maybe, I don't know. Maybe not. I said, let's then change it. They sent me a letter. Now she got a letter. July 8th. I got the letter on July 8th, which is last week. And it told me to appear today, July 14th, for 10 a.m. So I said, oh, I don't know, baby. I said, let's they change it between then and now. I said, which they could have, child. Y'all know they do. Tell me, oh, ain't no court today. Because they, they they trying to uplift this thing with, as far as the quarantine back again. You know, they kind of, they kind of, well, they kind of uplifted the quarantine. Now they're trying to put it back down, put it back down, unlift it, put it like that. So I told him, you might be right. I said, but I did call, which I did. And I asked him if I, if the court was, you know, if the court was going on, because last time, this ticket was from last year. And so, it's in reference to the ticket I had last time, but it's something in, a, something in addition with it. I was confused. I kept saying, what is it? I couldn't wait to go up there and find out what they were. I, mean, I called. I, asked, I, I told the lady, what is this? Because everything paid in full. What is this? And so she explained to me what it was. I said, oh, okay. Which I, I, it was an oversight of my fault on my part. So I still had to go in and see the judge about it. Uh, about it, whatever. Thank God I didn't have to pay nothing, child. But I explained to her that it was an oversight of my part, which it was. And I didn't see that I had signed for this or whatever. I didn't know that, child. But thank God I, my finances was already paid. So anyway, so when I called, first of all, when I first got the letter, I kept saying, well, what the crap is this? I got my receipt and I paid it full, and I thank God I kept my receipt. And then when I called the lady, she was telling me about what it was and what it pertaining to it. I said, oh, okay. So I wrote, I wrote everything down. I jotted everything down. And so, and I knew that court was going on. Well, I didn't know for a fact, but I assumed it was. It was just last week when I called her, and she said it was on the 14th. And I told it seems like every time I go to court, whether it's for a jury duty or for a ticket, for anything, it's always for me, it's always on a Tuesday, it seemed like. 
And I asked her, was that was it based upon my last name or because of my social security number or what? I asked her. She said, no. She said, she just didn't know. It just fell on the shoes. I said, okay. Because every time I go to jury duty, and I've only been to jury duty three times in my entire 52 years of living. I've only been to jury duty three times. Yeah, three. And it's always been on the TV, it seems like. But anyway, so I, I told my little coworker, I said, well, I don't know, baby. I said, maybe he didn't have to go. I don't know. And I said, maybe it depends on what he's going to court for. Or maybe it depends on what uh, what court or jurisdiction he, the court is in. I don't know. Or what a town, city. Or I don't know, child. I said, but I called, you know, and they told me to come on on the 14th. So I told her. So I just want to let her know that I wasn't going to be there. But uh, I was saying to myself, now listen to my sister pool. I said, now what if I was really trying to get out of work, child? What if I was trying, what if that, what if they had told me, well, court is counsel, which I didn't, it wasn't counsel though. But what if, and I know she might see this video because a lot of my coworkers watch it, which I don't mind. I said, what else? I tell my call now, what if I was really trying to uh, scheme my way out for work, get off work early? Because I went to work, y'all, but I got up three, three hours early so I can be there for 10. Uh, cause I had to be there for 10. Last time I had to be there at least 40 minutes before court. I like to be sitting in there because I didn't know how this was going to go. It's been, it's been a long time since so I've, I've been in court, period. Uh, uh, so I said, I want to sit in the, you know how you got to be on the docket, they call your name, I'll be like, all y'all in there. So I had to sit, you know, I had my jackets, it'd be cold up in there. And so I wanted to go in like, for sure over 30 minutes, I said like 40 minutes early to sit in there, right? So I had to go home, so I, I put in to be all to get up at 7 o'clock, 7, 8 a.m. So I can, you know, go home, take me a bath, you know, get refreshing or whatever. I need to eat me some little stuff, you know, everything, my stuff out, and I could be there for 10. And so, um... But I was telling telling my husband, I said, I was so funny. I said, well, she was saying, you got to go to court. They don't have court. <laughs> she said, they don't have court. I said, yeah. They, I said, well, they, I do. They sent me a letter and I called and to verify. And they said, yeah, you, you come. I said, they didn't tell me not to come. I said, it was just last week unless something happened between then and now, which I know things can happen you know, quickly. You know, they can. You say, okay, court closed, you know, because they already tell us we, we can't go no establishment without wearing a mask. So I, I hey, I said, well, it could be. Then I told her, I don't know. I said, but then again, maybe some courts are different. Maybe, like I say, depending on your jurisdiction or your, your boyfriend or whatever. She would say, my boyfriend, he ain't go to court. And I would say, oh, but I, I always thought that was so funny. Because <laughs> after I thought about it, I kept saying, well, whoo, man, she would lie. And the supervisor probably was lurking around somewhere like he always do. And so, um, now run tell that. And so, um, and I ain't taking it out. So I say, uh, I said, I told my husband, I say, ooh, I said, what if I was really trying to be uh, conniving and just using my little paperwork to, to get off? Because I had to show proof that I had the paperwork, which I did. But what if they told me, well, now, Ms. Jones, uh, court is counsel. You come back on such such a date. And I would have still had that date, you know. I said, but boy, boy, she would have threw me under the bus had court really been counsel for real. I said, I know she didn't mean no harm. I'm sure, I know she didn't. But she I was in my favor. I said, you have to go to court? Oh, I know. Because everybody thinks that a court experience is not good, you know? Or whatever. You know, it is kind of long sometimes. Take it all day. Everybody on the docket. You, to, you don't know what number you are. You know, all those type of mess. So court can be at least two hours sometimes. I'd have been there, I know. So that's probably what it was. I don't, I'm sure, and I know for a fact, well, I don't know for a fact, but I'm very, very certain that she wasn't trying to, you know, you know throw me on the bus or anything like that. You know, she is very sweet. She's new to our station. Very sweet, pretty young lady. And I love her attitude. Very quiet, you know, for the most part. And and, and works hard, too. So I just thought that was so funny. But, y'all, but but not her. But there are people who do try to throw you in the bus for real. They think you're lying about what you're saying. Even though most people ain't going to think that about me. Because I don't, I don't do that. I don't participate in all that line. No, no. That's not my, that's not my, rep, that's not my resume. That's not on, on, on the docket for me. You know, but, but some people do come there with a hidden agenda now. And they be lying. And you can you can now always kind of spot them out for at your job, child. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't know if y'all have a nine to five, y'all been working for a long time, and y'all work around like a group of people. Or a lot like like me at the post office. You can tell who be lying, who's full of shenanigans, and who ain't. Child. Oh yes, you can. Oh yes, you can. Fry the film. Fry down. Ah, you heard what I said? Child. So I thought that was so cute her. But, but I was saying, ooh, still. 
If I was trying to really, really get out of work, child, even though I was already approved, it wasn't nothing that could be done because I was already approved. <clears throat> but, you know, y'all got to be careful sometimes. Because even though, you know, me home, because, you know, like I said, so for instance, I really was trying to get out of work. I'm going to pop showing everything else, child. Y'all know how we do. If I um, which I probably, I probably won't eat those. My, my son probably eat them, but not, no, not I. I took the cat. I'm full. But y'all know how sometimes, you know, we, we do try to get out, out of work for whatever reason. Especially when, like, Black Friday, when it's the holiday. And, uh, we try to use any little thing to get out of work, y'all. And the person you're telling to, they, they do, they did what she did. You had to go to court. Ain't no court going on. You know, even though she probably didn't mean to no harm with it. She really probably, I'm, I, I'm willing to say she didn't. She 100% sure she did. But y'all know that some people can't really, really mean, can't can try to throw you on the bus for real in the cool. Yeah, or whether they think you're lying or they're jealous that you really are going to be out from work. And you got a legit reason to be out from work. Child, people like that, y'all. People are, people are strange, you know that? People with minds say be off sometimes. I, I'm for real. Ooh, child. They'll be trying to throw you on the bus, knowing you're telling the truth. I mean, now she don't know that because she barely knows. But I'm saying somebody else could know you, telling the truth, know you are not facetious, and that you're very honest in what you're saying. And I, now because they mad, they jealous, they mad, bro. What you mad for, bro? What's sis? That you off work or going to be off for a few hours from work. They want to want to be loud. They want to paint that narrative to anybody who's listening, who's in earshot to make like, you ain't got to go to court, girl, girl, court closed. Ain't no court going on. To make people wonder, you know, but I'm that person, I wouldn't care if court was closed for you and everybody around. It ain't closed for me because I got a paperwork that said it open. So that's the difference. But then again, <clears throat> like in her case, she really didn't mean any harm by it. She really didn't. So, excuse me, but just the fact that maybe somebody who was around her and in shot would probably would have heard her, even though it's probably true, her boyfriend probably didn't have court. And somebody around her heard her, and they probably said, oh, Lisa Michelle just trying to get out of work, you know. Which, that still wouldn't matter to me. I, can, I could, couldn't care less what anybody said. Because as long as I know I'm honest and I got my receipts to prove it, which I did go to court, thank God. What, and I didn't pay, like I said, I didn't pay nothing extra. I just have to explain to the judge why I over, missed this oversight or this thing I signed. I said, oh, child, I ain't see that. And I didn't. I really, really didn't. So, but that's my fault though, because y'all, nothing. Be careful when y'all sign anything, whether it's for court or your landlord or, or to get a credit card or to get a new house, whatever you sign, child, y'all, uh, whatever, at your job, y'all better try to read that thing in full. I'm serious. In car insurance, insurance, gap insurance, whatever it is. Y'all, uh, whatever y'all, y'all better sign that thing in full. I mean, read that thing in full uh, before you sign, preferably before you sign. Really, because once you sign, you decide on the dollar line. But definitely also as well after you've signed, you know, or whatever. Because sometimes we've been in a rush. We, I know, confess, confession. This is my confession. I'm telling you, I don't read things all the way through. The fine print, I just signed, child. Going based upon what somebody said. Mm -mm. That ain't good, sis. It ain't. But I've done it before. Yes, I have. But I ain't going to say I ain't going to do it again. But I'm trying not to, okay? But yeah. But still, when we do that thing and we sign without reading it full, or even if we read it in full, we can read it again, make sure that we, we what we read was what we read. After the fact, then you go make sure. You know, when you sign that stuff, especially y'all, y'all, me and women go to court for a ticket or whatever it is on your little paperwork they give you. Oh, uh, I need time to pay, whatever. How you know how we do? They say we got you got the money paid now. No, I want to pay. Can I pay in a week or a month? So y'all know I've been there for many times before. So, you know, and ain't nothing wrong with it. So, when you sign it, you make sure you read all the fine print of what all goes with that, you know? And you don't want to miss. But I know, for me, I did. I legit thought, since it's paid in full, I paid in full up front. And so, I'm thinking, like, since it's legit paid in full, I ain't had to look at no paperwork. I thought that that was it, 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 child. I, did, I promise you in Jesus' name, I did not see that little, little thing. So, y'all, y'all, so y'all make sure y'all read everything, no matter what it is. I'm not just talking about for court, but whatever it is. Read it, uh, your divorce papers, all of those stuff, y'all. Y'all read that stuff and stuff because that's like a binding contract. You, your name, your John Hancock is on the paperwork. And that's like, you know, that's like a paper trail. 
That is a paper trail. And that's why most jobs, including my own, they want to have a paper trail on you. They want to have a paper trail on you so they can stick you. They can hold that against you down the line. Come on, co-workers that's watching or whoever watching. Try. They want to have a paper trail on you. You know, you could be the best worker there. The best worker, hardest worker there. But they don't like your attitude. They think that you think they think that you think you're a know it all. Because you don't you even the kids they ASS, they don't like you. The way you look, they don't like you. Who knows? Because you're good at your job, they don't like you. Because cause you believe in Jesus Christ, they don't like you. Okay? So who knows why? I'm telling you, people, cuckoo. They don't like you for no reason. They, they, I mean, they can have a reason in their mind, but it's really no reason for real. You ain't did nothing to them, but they don't like you. <laughs> but they want to put that paper trail on for supervisors, managers, and all. Yes, they should be professional, but they, they're human, and they uh, most of them ain't professional. And they don't like you. <laughs> you ain't going to like them either, because I don't. You ain't gonna like them either. But you be proud, you proud for them because they are your sister and brother in Christ, whether they believe in Christ or not. Mm -hmm. Do your job. Do whatever you're supposed to do. Do it the right way. I tell my daughter the same thing. My son, my husband, we all discuss it. Do your job the right way because they don't like you. You got a cute shape. You cute. They don't like you. You dress cute. They don't like you. Whatever, child. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't trying to give him no play. You ain't trying to holler back at him. He don't like you. He a male show this pig, you a strong woman. He don't like you. She don't like you, child. I'm telling you. So y'all got to be proper. And not only that, keep your, do, be squeaky clean. Child, I learned it over the years. I've been to post office for 22 years. I had to learn. Baby, these managers and supervisors and coworkers come back and foul. And their attitude and their mindset be off. And yours could be off too. Be off, child. And child, they, 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 they come with an agenda. The enemy used them for an agenda to get you. You know, sometimes we fail, sometimes we pass tests, sometimes we don't. Child, we got to pick ourselves up and dust ourselves up and keep going. God, Lord, forgive me. That was not me. That was not, I was out of character. I was not representing you with that one. Because sometimes people do, they want to get you out of character. They do, they want to get you out of character. So they can go, he and ha ha, they can go whoosh, 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 to talk about. And y'all, let me tell y'all right now. I'm sorry, me and Lee this, but the men nowadays are messy. Even the ones my age, messy. I ain't say messy, messy. Messy. Okay? Messy. Yeah, they are, child. And so, um, don't give these folks at your job or nowhere, even at the court, and when you drive them down, have your seatbelt on. Don't give nobody a reason to pull you over. Don't let them have no paperwork on you, no paper trail on you. Child, I had to learn the hard way my job. I had to learn the hard way. You know, I'm thinking my hard work would get me, but no, sis. Mm -mm. Do what's right. Don't care who ain't doing it. Don't worry about who ain't doing it. You do it. Because they ain't going to come for them. Mm, no, nah, they ain't going to come for them. Because the, the devil want to keep them right where they at. They won't come for you. Because your, well, your mind said that and your spirit is. They won't come for you, sis. So do the right thing. You know, even if you mess up a little bit. Child, everybody can be messing up just a little, little bit. You ain't even trying to mess up, not intentionally. But everybody messing up in this area a little, little bit. Might go to break 30, 36 too long. Might go to break a minute too long. Sometimes might go to lunch an hour, not an hour, a two minutes too long on your break. But they're going to come for you. They ain't going to say to nobody else. They, we can all be doing the same thing. They ain't going to say nothing to them. They're going to come to you, though. I kind of all joy. I mean, myself, boo. I kind of know our job because, hey, this God tell me, Lisa Michelle, you know better than that. Don't worry about what they're doing. Don't worry about how many times they do it. You do what right, sis. I, daughter, I know. Let you get away with it too many times, Lisa Michelle. This is what the Holy Spirit tell me. This is what he has told me over my 22 years at the post office. He has told me that. And I say, you know what, Lord, I'm thank you. Thank you. Because I see it is, it, Super Bowl can come and go. Come right back with that same type of spirit. And then holler about his business. It's business, but it's not business when it's pertaining to a, another person. But it's business when, it, when it's pertaining to, to me. So, you know what? I kind of enjoy whatever the Holy Spirit, whatever God allows is what he allows. But you got to be responsible for what you do, too. You got you got to. So, you don't want to give none, nobody no paper trail on you. You don't. Even though things will still happen. We know that with George Floyd. Things will still happen. But still. You don't want to get nobody no paper trail on you. And I think that, and I'm not saying this because for my brother's death, no. But I'm saying, 
I want to say that this, these police officers had an ill mindset, an ill a heart was ragged and black and dirty already for them to him, for that man, all of them to, to allow what was done to George Floyd and all the rest of them that what was done to them. Okay. So regardless of the fact that he that they claim or whatever, I don't know for a fact that he was in the store trying to pass off a fake twenty dollar bill or whatever was said in the media because I don't even know if that's true. I could be wrong. Y'all don't quote me verbatim. I don't know. But if that was what the dealio was, so what? Okay, all right, take him to jail or whatever. But all the extra losing of a life child. No. Nah. So you evil already. But my, uh, what I'm saying to you, Lee Shillings, is just be careful. First of all, be prayerful. That's the main thing, first and foremost. And then while you're prayerful, then you do what you're supposed to do so that nobody can have a reason to say something to you, even though they will. So you say, well, okay, if they're going to still do what they want to do to me, why should I be obedient? Huh? So you want to be disobedient. You want to have extra badness, extra chaos, extra whatever on you? No, it's better. It's always better to do the right thing, period. No matter who around you do the wrong thing, even when your spirit tells you do the wrong thing. It really is, and I know this for a fact. It really is. So, and sometimes it'd it be so easy to do the wrong thing. I mean, it could be something so small, but it's still like, no, wrong. Stay let over, stay over on your break. So like that, you know. I know a lot of people, everybody almost do that. Just about, it, just about everybody. No, but they ain't watching everybody. Though. They're watching just you, see? They're watching just you because they want to have something on you, see? Nah. Don't give nobody no reason to come to you. That's my philosophy. Not saying they can't up and come to you. You can, but you gonna come to me with some facts. You even come to me about you even come to me about that that I know I ain't doing. And I can't. You can't say, oh well, such and such do it, even though such and such do do it. You can't use that. Mm -mm. I I didn't try that. You can't. You can't. Can't use that because you shouldn't be doing it. Regardless of everybody doing it. Yeah, that's not fair. No, I mean, yeah, of course that's unfair. They gonna come to you when you when everybody doing it. They come to you. No, it's not fair. But it's not fair that none of us should be doing it. If we're supposed to be doing it, I don't care how little of it it is. That's just the truth. That's just the truth of it. That's what I'm learning. That's what I've learned. I'm 52. Mm -mm, don't try to get away. With, don't you try to get away with it. Just do it the right way, child. Don't worry about it. Cause in the end, it's gonna pay out for you. In the end, it's gonna pay out for you. I don't know how it's gonna pay out for you, and I sure don't know when, but it will pay off for you. I don't care what how small of a payoff it is or how large of a payoff it is, how soon it is, or how farther down the road it is, it is. And when you keep that mindset, then you'll want to do right all the time. You know, you want you will. And I'm not saying that by my co worker who, who asked me about the court. I'm not talking about her at all. I don't know how I even got over here. Also my big one in court, that's what it was, by me missing that one little paper that I signed. I didn't re I didn't realize and I really didn't. I honestly did, but I should have got ready to sign it. So that's my that's on me. That is on me, child. And it's gonna be on you if you do that same thing. So anyway, y'all, I was supposed to come and talk about the lady who passed who, whose body they found, y'all. I'm so sorry. But anyway, rest in heaven, Naya Rivera. Rest in heaven, the young lady who they found her body in the um lake. And I was so sad. And she's such a beautiful lady. But they don't have anything to do with it at all. You know, looks like I'm just saying she's so pretty, you know. And um I love her her son. You know, and I was grateful that she, the Lord allowed her to put her son in the boat. And he had his little, his little, um, his life jacket on. And he was asleep, you know, and all the time. So I'm just so saddened by that. So saddened. But I don't know, child. I know somebody say, oh, it's a conspiracy for this. Oh, it's a conspiracy for that. All I can say, only God knows, child. Everything that the Lord, the Lord allows, good and or bad, happens for, is for a reason. And I do believe that. I do believe that. The word says that. So, anyway, y'all. Y'all, so this will conclude another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Y'all, I did what I can do. I'm full. I got this much left. I eat it off camera. My son will eat it probably, child. My husband might eat it. This is mine. Don't know about I want this, but me. My son might like it, but it's mine. My beloved son. So, anyway, y'all go check out my girl, Nicole, of course. Nicole, of course. Nicole, of course. Hi, loves. Hi, no, hi, dolls. Oh, what she saying? So, y'all, y'all check her out. So, 
This will conclude another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Share on every social media platform and subscribe so that you, 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 and your grandparents, your cousins, and your supervisors, and your station managers, and your enemies, all of them too, mm -hmm. can become an official Lee Shillian and Ding Dong Ding. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Look up. So that you can be reminded of every every time your girl uploads a video. Okay? And be quick with it. La 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 Alright, Lee Shellians. Bye. See y'all later. And your girl loves y'all. Don't forget, y'all, we're going live tonight on this Tuesday, July 14th. My husband and I on Sister Fifi Tyson. Okay? Bye, y'all.